Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson. I've just been working in Substance Painter on this boot leather and I've been adding these wrinkle details. So I thought I'd just record a quick tutorial to show you how I add these kind of wrinkle details to the leather. I'm going to come over and add some wrinkles in this section here. And first thing I want to do, just in my layers panel, is create a new fill layer. Just rename this wrinkles 04 and I want to make sure that I only use height so I'm going to alt click on height and I'm going to just decrease the height amount just here it's using two monitors here so I'm dragging my panels across to the viewable area next thing is to add a black mask and to that I want to add paint this is going to be a more flexible way to do this And you can see if I just drag there. Now I'm using some leather wrinkles. I've got them over here in my shelf. I got these online. Just go to alphas and type in wrinkles. These ones here, specifically in this case, I'm using wrinkles 04. And if I just use my Wacom and click and drag, something like that, that's pretty good. I want it just in this section just under here. Obviously, I've got way too much in there. So now what I want to do is use the eraser to feather that in. So I switch across to the eraser. In my shelf, I want to, for brushes, choose Basic Soft. one here and I want to really decrease the stroke opacity I'm just changing that it's just outside the viewable area here and I want to come in now and I want to feather that in just working with my Wacom really want to remove that hard edge moving around also moving the light around the scene really hard to get wrinkles looking great just with the alpha Using the eraser tool in this way is a really good way to get it looking more realistic. To get really nice fall off. Just go over the top there just to decrease that height. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? Quite natural, quite realistic. And obviously I can change that height just by clicking on the layer and just coming over to my properties and just decreasing that if I want to get that a little lower or a little deeper or if I want it to pop out so it's quite a flexible way to work by using a fill layer with paint stamping on that detail with an alpha and then feathering that out with the eraser okay so hopefully you found that useful remember to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in another tutorial.